your experience at Attica as well, because I think that may interest the people here, but we'll get to that. So, go ahead.
it was like being transported to another planet. Because the dichotomy between Keeper and Kevin was so strong. There was no connections. Here you had a rural upstate population. You know, they had <clears throat> nothing about Harlem, Bed Stuy, South Bronx, Lower East Side. You know, none of the communities that the majority of prisoners came from. And then you have this, this uh, 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 revolutionary element also in the mixture which they had no clue about. Right? And so you bring all this together in this one environment, Bless and what you, see, what you have Bless is a, a, a very volatile mixture. So when I got there, there was already a education in uh, Just the beginnings of organizing going on there. And, uh, Soup of, of alpha, alphabet soup. Like I said, the SES, uh, Young Lords, Weathermen, Black Panthers, PLA, and uh, all of them in there pursuing their own interests. But because there was nowhere for us to go, and the true dichotomy in prison is the keeper and the kept, right? So eventually we had to get our act together because the keepers were all speaking in one voice. They were all on the same page, right? They knew exactly what they wanted. <laughs> they wanted to keep us, right? And so we had to eliminate all the disconnects among our group. And this took place. What we did was end up eliminating all the, the organizational titles and names came together under one banner, which we call the People's Party. Okay. And uh, we, we held political education classes in the yard. The place was flooded, literally flooded, with radical literature. Every revolutionary movement going on on the planet had <coughs> literature there from international publishers used to give out all their stuff. We could get all their stuff for free. Right, so we were studying, you know, history, Marxism, you know, the Red Book, uh, you know, the Vietnam War. We were experts on it. You know, the anti-war movement in the country. We were experts on that. We were experts on everything that was anti-American. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and it was a beautiful thing. And once we eliminated the the the, the group barriers, which you don't be all that are conscious and aware of what took place in Georgia recently. They saw a replication of that. Yeah. Yeah, they organized six prisoners with illegal cell phones. But in order to do that, they had to get rid of all these disconnects among them. They were white, black, Latino, Crips, Bloods. Yeah. I'm from this town, you from that town. They eliminated all that which is the only way to go. I think it's a good lesson for the left out here, you know, because we speak in, in, talk about speaking in tongues, 